Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just want to do a quick update. I added some more parts to the car. This car passed by. So that that you see on right now, those are the eyebrows and the whip. Then you can barely see the rock lights. Oh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah, but right now I have the eyebrows and the whips right now set on an automatic mode and they're just automatically cycling through a bunch of different colors. I went and look how bright those are. I went and added some sound. Those are rear tower speakers mounts up directly right here. Here you have these two speakers and you got a subwoofer underneath the seat. Head unit goes up top. I know you guys are probably usually used to seeing it either up here or down here. This one goes up top. This one's from MD Court. It looks like pretty good quality. Another really popular name brand, a lot more popular than this, is the Rock Floor Fosky. Super nice. Um, let me talk to you a little bit about the eyebrows because I was having some issues with them. So when I originally ran these, I hooked them up myself, I installed them myself, I ran the wires directly to the battery and my plan was there's an on and off um, button on the application that you have to use to, um, to, to run these. And every time I got out of the car, I turned them off through the app. That's how I was powering them on and off. Well, because they were constantly being hooked up to the battery, that app was constantly on. And that was draining my battery. I was trying to figure it out and yep, that's what was draining my battery. As soon as I hooked them up, I was having battery issues. So I was planning on taking the car down to a stereo shop because I didn't want to do the work myself on installing the uh, sound system because it is a lot of work. Not that I was being lazy, just it's a lot, a lot of wiring. And I didn't want to do it. So I took the car to a, sound, a stereo shop called California Sound here in uh, Fontana, California. They did all the work. They did pretty good work. Um, anyways, and I was letting them know about the problem. I said, hey, these eyebrows are killing my battery. So pretty sure they're gonna need a hard on and off switch and I'll show you that right now so I had them hook up an on and off switch that's for the headlights headlights should be off they're off and boom that solves all of your problems now I can turn the car off leave the key in there and as long as all the toggle switches are off the battery will not be dead the next day so let's take a look at what we got we got the front lights we got whips this is actually an extra light if i want to hook up either pods or a light bar got my rock lights over here and right here on the left side this is a switch for that baja design that's up front but yep, just want to talk to you a little bit about that. Now, for the Baja, super duper bright. I want to talk to you guys about an amber cover kit that I found directly through Baja. Not a lot of people run it. And, hi. So this right here, I don't think a lot of people know about this. When I was deciding what light to run, I... I was indecisive between running an amber, which is a yellow that you see right now, or a white, because you can get this light in both of those colors. That's how easy it is to come on and off. Do it with one hand. This clear lens that you see can be yellow or white. And what I did was I wanted the white. This is I was set on this color, but I really wanted to run an amber. 
This is a rock cover guard from Baja Design. It was, uh, I think they're 20 bucks each. You can get a clear one, you can get a black one that just, you know, it's just a black plastic that goes over it and it says Baja on it. It's pretty cool. Or you can get amber, which is exactly what I wanted because I wanted the option of running amber or white. You guys didn't know amber isn't just for uh, looking cool it helps you see through uh, fog and smoke and dust a little bit better than white white actually blinds you a little bit when it comes to that so i keep this in the car for certain situations you know in case you got to use it. it stays right here with the rag yeah super duper cool that's not some um, cheap part from you know China. I mean, it's from Baja Design. It might be from China, but it's not just, you know, it fits on really good directly through Baja. $20. Can't go, can't go wrong. I say even run a clear one if you're going to be transporting the car. That's mainly why I got it, is because I wanted to protect that headlight when I'm transporting it. That headlight right there was $500. And, uh, you know, I like taking care of my stuff. I don't have an enclosed trailer. I got a regular trailer. I'm going to do another video about that. Show you guys how I move my vehicle. And, um, but yeah, super duper um, cool. Just want to talk to you guys a little bit about that. If anyone is running that light now, um, let's go for necessary upgrades because honestly, a lot of these are pretty much just for fun. It makes the car look cooler, it makes the car sound cooler. Um, let's talk about necessary upgrades um, especially for the price I think number one is you guys are gonna need some type of headlight up front whether that's a uh, LED bar a uh, headlight like this um, a uh, what's it called a front bumper with lights on it let's talk about that for a little bit so this light itself with the mount and the harness that you need to run it I found it for 470 bucks brand new on Amazon. I did the job myself. Between all the installations that this car has right now, that was the second easiest. First were these half doors. That was the second easiest. All you do is run them. You mount it directly to the shock tire brace. Comes with this mount. It mounts directly where is it? down there. That's it. You got two of those on that side and then boom, light is mounted after that you run a wire to your battery a switch which is already pre-installed you run a red and black wire and that's how the, the, the light gets power super duper uh, easy you get a lot of light for um, for being one light i know it's dark it's pretty much all you need if my headlight goes down if my eyebrows are out that's all i need to, in order to see i'm not worried about it um what else oh yeah so yeah i know the light is 500 bucks but if you think about it you don't have to buy a front bumper you don't have to purchase any type of mounts and make sure that you know you have the necessary space you don't got to run the wires through your pillars if you're gonna because think about it if you're running uh lights right here pod lights you got to get those lights inside of that pillar or run them down that pillar this everything's hidden it goes directly through the car it's all easy that's why I really like that light. Um, if you're out in the desert, I suggest whip because it helps you be seen. When you're running something bright like this, it provides a lot of light to the outside of the car. If you're going over a hill, if you're going up a dune, if you're on the bottom of that dune, it helps you be seen. And it's not just for uh, looking cool. And you see these light tapers right here? In the middle of darkness, people are gonna be like, oh, what's that green light down there? It's a car. So it's, it's, uh, it's about safety too. You gotta be safe when you're out there. Uh, roof, roof was, what, $300? But you know, being out in the hot sun, getting all burned up, or in the rain. So, so those are necessary, necessary up, uh, upgrades that the car is, you're gonna need. Upgrades that you're gonna need on the car. Those are necessities. These half doors, I picked them up on eBay for like 100 bucks. They're OEM fakes, but they look the same. 
probably the same plastic they got rubber seals on them they keep a lot of uh, wind out of the cabin I love them especially uh, where we ride is kind of cold we go to Pismo Beach it's uh, northern California or it might just be California but it's a uh, cold up there and that keeps a lot of that cold air out of the car oh yeah first things first is a headlight that's, that's what you guys are gonna need those uh, stock x3 headlights are just not bright enough and then I say whips especially if you're riding in a place where you're gonna need them it's it really uh, makes your car stand out and then after that that's you know it's up to you it's up to you what you're gonna have to decide for yourself what do you need first I suggest the headlight because those I let me turn them on for you see that is much brighter than this that's what you get from the factory not bad but it doesn't blind you like that Baja design does does it but yeah I, I would uh, recommend saving up some money getting a headlight like that one that's just mounts directly onto the car it makes the car it still looks factory it doesn't look out of place i'm not a big fan of <coughs> excuse me i'm not a big fan of uh, led bars on top of the car to me it doesn't really look that good it makes the light look out of place that looks factory it looks like it belongs on the car it looks like that's how it should come really like it it doesn't block too much of your visibility i'll show you what it looks like when you're driving the car the purchase at all especially not when you can just switch amber and amber and, and uh, white and a snap in what two or three seconds you're like oh I feel like running a yellow light today and you know what's really cool you can run those eyebrows yellow so you can, you can make it look like you have two amber lights you can have the eyebrows set yellow have your amber cover on and it looks really sweet yeah here's my car guys this is a 2021 x3 xrs turbo r this one has 172 horsepower 72 inches wide i picked it up at Burt's mega mall um kind of an all right deal but uh right now it's, it seems like nobody has these cars so you can't really negotiate that much they wouldn't even throw in whips for free but anyways yeah this is a i, I like the car a lot I'm really happy with my purchase. I'm glad I chose Can-Am over everything else. Uh, Polaris was my second choice. I was in between the Turbo S Velocity or this one right here. I said I was in a, I was kind of on a budget. You know, this car was about 23,000. I didn't want to go and spend $30,000 on a toy. I'm pretty much, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> but uh, I really like the car. It's coming out real nice. I like the power that it has. Next thing that I, or probably not next, but one thing that I really want to do in the future is upgrade the seat belts. This car comes with factory, pretty much car-like style seat belts. I want harnesses. Um, that's a really easy and cheap upgrade. It's probably going to be the next thing I'm going to do to the car. Um, I already have wheels and tires for it. These are factory. I have them in the garage, and I'll show you guys the setup that I went with. I'm really happy that I, I, I got this setup. And. Um, Right now I'm still driving around the block, breaking in the motor. Um, but yeah, this is the black and tan right here. Look at all the different color combinations those uh, headlights and eyebrows can do. And yes, like I, I said in uh, previous videos, these are uh, linked. They're not linked. They're ran independently. So even though there are 5150, both of them, one is running the separate wires. They have a Y connection, I believe, and it can link them. And that way they'll be running the same thing. It'll look just like this. They're pretty much doing the same show. And that is pretty cool. I'm debating on ordering it from 5150. 
but I kind of want to have the whips just set to one color like red or, or white or blue and then have the eyebrows doing whatever I want that's what I originally wanted but I might just I might change it I might link them but yep here's my my car if you guys can do me a favor and go ahead and drop a like a comment if you can to subscribe uh, what that does is it helps uh, YouTube know that you guys like my videos and it helps push these videos out to other people who like the same kind of uh, things like Can-Ams, like off-roading. Um, go ahead and do that for me. That really helps me out. And it lets me know that you guys like videos like this. This MB Cord, I'm really happy with the decision. I'm going to do a comparison between this and a Rockford Fosgate. I got a four-seater in the garage. And very soon we're gonna do a comparison of the cars we're gonna race them we're gonna see what's faster that the one inside is a four-seater turbo rr so that has 195 this is the same exact colorway and then this is a two-seater turbo r 172 horsepower the bolt 72 inches wide but yeah thanks for watching the video guys hope you guys like my channel 